Hello and welcome to Daily Prayer for Friday the 23rd of April. As we start, we remember our wonderful Father in Heaven. We honour his name as we say together. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul and guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. We say together, as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. So just take a moment to let God answer your prayer. To let the light of his presence set our hearts on fire. So look back at the last 24 hours and give thanks for everything that's been good. And I'm really thankful for uh, uh, well, a good couple of conver uh, telephone conversations, just uh, um, good to be working in a team. Good to have people who are just willing to, to do jobs. I'm very grateful that one job I thought might have taken an hour took me 15 minutes. I'm just delighted at the glorious weather. Let's pray for God's healing and God's way forward for anything that's made us sad. For those on our hearts this day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. To just bring to mind, as we do on Fridays, the issues that are most on your heart. Maybe people you know, perhaps the church, local, national, global, other issues. Let the Spirit bring things to mind and consider how you feel about them. And take those thoughts and feelings, we turn them into prayer as we say together. Father, place into your hands the things I cannot do. Father, I place into your hands the things that I've been through. Father, I place into your hands the way that I should go. For I know I always can trust you. Father, I place into your hands my friends and family. Father, 
I place into your hands the things that trouble me. Father, I place into your hands the person I would be. For I know I always can trust you. Just consider the day ahead of you, what you're looking forward to and what worries you. I've got a rather long to-do list of well, lots of little bits and pieces I need to sort out, things like changes to marriage legislation. Just getting ready for the weekend, finishing the sermon. I'd value your prayers. For all you're looking forward to, for all you're worried about, for God's blessing, God's protection, God's good fruit. Father, we ask, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of truth, help us to keep your law of love and to walk in ways of wisdom, that we may find true life in Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. Continuing from Mark, again, Jesus said, what shall we say the kingdom of God is like? Or what, shall, what parable shall we use to describe it? It is like a mustard seed, which is the smallest of all seeds on earth. Yet when planted, it grows and becomes the largest of all garden plants with such big branches that the birds can perch in its shade. With many similar parables, Jesus spoke the word to them as much as they could understand. He did not say anything to them without using a parable, but when he was alone with his own disciples, he explained everything. Some of you will know that, uh, uh, well, this is one of my favourite parables. I, I just love the image that in the breadth of history, Jesus's life on earth seems so small and insignificant. Never a position of political power, never having an army, never writing a book himself. Just three years of public ministry. Put to death, apparently, as a criminal. The victim of awful injustice. So insignificant, apparently. And yet, because of that one seed, there are Christians in every country on earth. And part of the secret of the kingdom growing uh, is just that continual sowing of seeds in so many different ways. It's a part, partly about sharing our faith. I might think of just individual acts of love or of more explicit faith sharing that have transformed my life all adding together. But also the way things have changed the world. I love the image of of the way fair, tra fair trade started. At first, coffee sold only at kind of stalls at the back of church, only instant coffee, and it wasn't good to taste. But because of that good sacrifice of the few, it has grown extraordinarily so that now we can have coffee, tea, chocolate, bananas, my clerical shirts, so much more. And the coffee and chocolate and everything taste wonderful. What seeds might we sow today? Let's act with faith, trusting that God can take those little things and do something extraordinary. The kingdom of God. How God has chosen to change the world is like a mustard seed. The smallest of all seeds on earth, yet when planted it grows and becomes the largest of all garden plants, with such big branches that the birds can perch in its shade. Give us our trespasses 
do we forgive those who trespass against us? A chorus that I remember from my teenage years and love. Jesus, take me as I am. I can come no other way. Take me deeper into you. Make my flesh life melt away. Make me like a precious stone, crystal clear and finely honed. Life of Jesus shining through, giving glory back to you. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. peace of God, which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and your minds in the knowledge and the love of God, of his Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, rest upon you and remain with you, this day and always. Amen. Thank you for praying with me and for me. Bless you. Bye-bye.